Right, so welcome back, guys. Here is another question. That, this one is a very visual question compared to my other mathematical questions. Um, it's also on mathematics spectrometry, but if you get the hang of this question, you probably do very well on this test. Probably. So the question is, we're going to do number two. Draw a mass spectrum. Which... Draw a mass spectrum for chlorine, which has 75% of the um, which has 75% of the chlorine 35 isotope and 25% of the chlorine 37 isotope. Use labels to show the part of the spectrum that indicates the isotopic mass and the part that shows the abundance of each of the isotopes. So now I'm just going to walk you through how I would do this. Um, it's up to you, whichever way you use. But this is just what I would do, and this is basically based on what the book does. So draw a mass spectrum. This is what a mass spectrum looks like. You've got the x and y axis, and you've got the mass per charge on the x axis, and the percentage abundance, which we will write horizontally. I'll write it with the red pen so it's very easy to see. Percentage abundance on the y axis. So we'll say this is 100%. Uh, probably be like this is zero percent, obviously. And go about ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. This is so bad. Sixty, seventy, eighty, and we'll go here ninety. All right. So what we'll do now? What happens on this x-axis is the mass per charge. So first we can just label. We just say this is the this is the mass spectrum of chlorine. Really bad handwriting, but that's alright. It's a computer. Um, and basically what this is, is just a bar graph. It's not a plot um, dot graph, that way I used to. It's a bar graph. And it's a single bar graph, and I'll show you how this works. So draw a mass spectrum for chlorine, which has 75% of the chlorine 35 isotope, and 25% of the chlorine 37 isotope. 75 and 25 make 100, so this, the, these two isotopes are the only isotopes we're going to be using. So first, chlorine 35 is the smallest, so we'll just label this 35, and underneath here we'll just write chlorine isotopes. You don't have to write this label, I just like to write it so I remember what it is. So this is 30, this looks like an 85. 35 and then we have a 37 chlorine 37 these are two isotopes so the first one 35 is a 75 so we'll go about this is about halfway here so say about up to here so now we'll just draw a line from here and up it's not a very straight line but that's all right so this is basically what our um first isotope will be will look like a second one has a 25% um, abundance. So 25 comes around here, down here, this is 20 and this is 30. So 25 should be around there. And hence I'm going to draw a line from here to up there. And this is our mass spectrum for chlorine. Let's just quickly check. So it says use labels to show the part of the spectrum that indicates the isotopic mass and the part that shows the abundance of each of the isotope. So you've got the abundance on this side and the isotopic mass on this side. And we have our 35 with 75% and 37 with 25%. And this is what a mass spectrum for any substance looks like. Thank you.